In this video, we'll look at the host and presenter area in Adobe Connect. I often refer to the active layout in Adobe Connect as a stage. The host and presenter area is essentially a backstage. In previous versions of Adobe Connect, this was called the presenter only area. It's been renamed to the host and presenter area, and you can access it under your meeting menu by selecting host and presenter area. This will open up an area to the right hand side of your meeting room that only hosts and presenters can see. This is essentially a back channel to store information that you may not want to have visible to everybody else in the room. So if I demote myself here to a participant, you'll notice that I'm not able to see the host and presenter area. I can see the room as it's designed, but as I promote myself back to a host, I now get this additional section of the room that only I as a host or presenter can see. By default, this is available to hosts and presenters, although I can set this in options to be only visible to hosts if you don't want your presenters to see the backstage area either. There are a few different pods that I can see back here in my existing host and presenter area, including a chat pod, a notes pod, and an engagement dashboard. This engagement dashboard shows me the overall level of engagement in my meeting, and we're gonna cover this in a different video. So for now, I'm just gonna hide this pod so that we can talk about the host and presenter area. You'll see that I've got a couple of other pods back here by default, including a chat pod and a notes pod. And chat is incredibly handy because this is essentially a private chat pod that only hosts and presenters can see. It is a back channel that we can use to chat with each other. In fact, I will typically rename this pod to the presenter chat while I'm using it in my host and presenter area. Of course, you can always use private chat by uh, chatting with specific groups in Adobe Connect, but simply by placing the pod back here, it becomes by default private, only visible to hosts and presenters. I've also got a notes pod back here. And again, these notes pods can be incredibly handy in a backstage situation. I often include my agenda in a notes pod, something that I don't necessarily want to include on my main stage, but I wanna have the timings and the different elements of my meeting or virtual classroom in my agenda. I include speaker bios in webinars so that as somebody is introducing a speaker, they've got notes to refer to backstage. Again, something that we wouldn't necessarily want on the main stage. And I'll often include answers to common questions for webinars in the backstage area so that I can copy and paste those into the Q&A pod as I'm answering questions. So chat pods are very, very helpful. One of the other pods that I'll often put backstage is the attendees pod. And you can put any pod backstage simply by dragging it and dropping it into the host and presenter area. Now that I've got the attendees pod in the host and presenter area, it's something that only the hosts and presenters can see. So everybody else in my live meeting can't see how many people are in the room and they can't see the names of those individuals. That's not necessarily something I'd want for a virtual classroom, but it comes in very handy for a large webinar where you may wanna hide the names of the other attendees in that webinar. And in fact, any new pod that I create will automatically be added to this host and presenter area. And that's by design. It means that I can now prepare this pod, in this case, a poll by typing in a question and the answers before opening this poll and dragging it out onto my main stage. In this case, it's gonna make me look a lot more prepared than I actually am because nobody has to watch me set up this poll. I do it all backstage, which is completely invisible to everybody else in the Adobe Connect room. These pods can also be dragged back out onto the main stage, again, simply by dragging and dropping them. The host and presenter area can be used for chat and notes, but you can add essentially any pod to this backstage area, anything that you don't want visible to everybody else in the room. For example, let's add a new share pod to the backstage area. I'll resize this, put it beside my presenter chat, and add a custom pod by browsing my computer and selecting this stage lights pod, for example, 
to work as a stage light for my presenters, letting them know when they've got lots of time. This light will turn yellow when they're getting low on time and red when they need to stop speaking. That's something that I want to make sure that the presenters have got access to, but I don't want the rest of the participants in my webinar room or my virtual classroom to see necessarily. This host and presenter area is consistent as we move from layout to layout. You'll notice the host and presenter area does not change. In this way, I can keep a consistent look and feel to my backstage area while I continue to change the stage that all of the participants in the Adobe Connect room are seeing. That's a quick look at the host and presenter area in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.